Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to another Costco Canada shop with me and haul. In today's video, you're getting two in one, so let's get right into it. We're starting this video off with some entryway finds, and if you're new here to my channel, I did want to introduce myself. Hello, I'm Dee, and every single Thursday, I take you in the warehouse and I share all the new finds in Costco Canada locations. And on Sundays, I usually take you home and I share my haul. However, in today's video, you're getting a two for one, so make sure you stick around for the entire video. There's so much to share in this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It helps my channel out and it means a lot to me. So with all that being said, let's see what's here in the entryway at Costco. I featured these JBL speakers a couple weeks ago around Father's Day time and to my surprise it's on sale right now so if you were thinking about getting this before and you didn't get it then try getting it now it's $129.99. I also saw these cool Sony headphones. I really like how sleek and simple these are and Sony headphones are usually pretty good. I think these are noise canceling ones and right now you can also get those on sale for $277.99. I also noticed that there's an iPhone 13 Pro Max here in the warehouse it's this really nice blue color and it is a little bit on the expensive side but all phones are pretty pricey nowadays anyways i also noticed this really cool uh kind of car organizer i feel like this would go great in your trunk space i don't know where else you would have space to put it but it has so many compartments on the main section and on the outside they have little compartments there as well and it looks like you can snap it to fold it together if you're not going to use the entire space all at once so that's good that you can fold it up and store it away when you don't need it that's actually on sale right now for $23.99 and I think that's a great find I featured these Pokemon balls in one of my previous videos and they weren't on sale then but they're on sale right now which is great you can get these for $44.99 and I find that Costco is always a great place to come and find really awesome gifts for kids they just have some childhood classics they always have kid pleasing things and things to please the entire family. So I'm gonna share some more sales and new finds in the warehouse and I'll be back in a little.
I definitely recommend getting a smartwatch if you don't have one already. I wear one pretty much every single day and I just love it so much. Mine is a Garmin watch and I really do enjoy it. I actually did a dedicated review on it so I'm going to go ahead and link that video in the description box. You can check it out after you're done watching this one. But look at how cool that footage was. That's the GoPro bundle that you can get here in the warehouse right now. This one is just under $500 and the sale runs until July 9th, so you don't have long to get that one. There's also these Samsung smartwatches that have been here in the warehouse for a while. This rose gold color is the one that's being featured and it's $239.99. If you have a smartwatch, leave in the comments which one you use and why. I would love to know. Next up, they have this tower fan in the warehouse, which is perfect for summertime. This is $59.99 and definitely going to be helpful cooling you down. There's also another option for this fan. It's a two-in-one and this one is $54.99 and I believe there's also a remote that comes with it. Next up, this Nest Cam that's available in the warehouse is actually going to be discontinued and it's going to leave the warehouse at the very beginning of July. So if you were thinking to get this one, it's just under $500. And as I said, it is going to be discontinued. That's what the asterisk means. And that's going away on July 7th. Right next to it, they also have this Nest Hub Max, which I think would be great in addition to your Nest Cam. This one is on sale for $219.99. You're saving $70 off, so that's pretty cool. I also noticed this bowl set with lids is on sale right now for $12.97. That's a manager markdown, and it's going to be discontinued. They're trying to get rid of that one to bring in other cool finds that I'm sure we're all going to get super excited to see. So this is what it looks like up underneath. You have options for how to care with this one and different ways that you can use it as well. I also really appreciate how sturdy the lids are. They're definitely not flimsy, so that is a good thing as well. There's also this new coffee press, I believe it is. Honestly, you guys, the only way I know how to make coffee is with my Keurig. I don't know how to make coffee with any of these cool machines, but I did want to share that this is here in the warehouse. I know some people are coffee fanatics. They can make coffee like they've been making coffee their whole life. I'm just one of those people that literally can put the coffee pod in and that's how I make my perfect cup every single time. Next up, I did want to share that this Cricut Joy is on sale right now for $199.99. That doesn't happen often, so if you wanted to get one, get it now while you can. Also, I did a D versus Costco episode on TikTok recently sharing this Castrol oil for your car and it's on sale again. So if you were bummed out, you didn't get it while it's on sale, get this now. It's usually about $15 more than this when it's not on sale so go in and get it while you can also canada day is right around the corner and you guys are probably watching this before the long weekend there's this red velvet cheesecake that you can get with the canada flag on there that's perfect and festive for any celebration you're doing this weekend there's also some other really cool dessert options that are festive and also just taste delicious Next up, I'm going to share some essential sale items that are in the warehouse right now, and I'll be back in a little bit for some more.
There were so many great sales in the warehouse on this shop. Now let's check out and go home so I can share everything I got in this haul with you guys. Hey guys, I'm back home and I'm ready to share my haul. I'm going to do things a little bit different in this one. So I'm actually going to be taking this weekend off. I'm just going to be a mom. I'm going to spend time with my girls. They're finally out of school and we just are in need of some family time. So in this video, you guys would have clearly already seen the shopping portion and now you're also going to see the haul. I'm doing this one vlog style just to make my life easier and to have a more laid back approach. This video is definitely different from what you'll normally see here on my channel. However, if you are new, I'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe. It helps my channel out and also means a lot to me. So if you're new here, every single Thursday, I take you in the store and I take you shopping. I share everything that's new in the warehouse. And normally on Sundays, I take you home and I share my haul. However, today you're getting a shop and a haul all in one because this mama needs a weekend off. And I'm going to spend time with my family this long weekend. It is a long weekend for us here in Canada. So happy Canada Day. If you're celebrating and if you're from the US, happy 4th of July. That's coming up right after this one. Anyways, with all that being said, let me just share everything I got in this haul. It's going to be in portions because it's just a lot, but that's just normal. Every long weekend in our house, we tend to go through a lot of food. First up, I grabbed this container of organic eggs from the Kirkland Signature brand. I tend to get this maybe once a month. It lasts a really long time and they're always pretty good. I just put it in my fridge and they last a while. I also grabbed two bunches of organic bananas. We go through this a lot and we've been having bananas quite a lot lately. So we might have to increase the summer from two to three, but for right now we grabbed two bunches of organic bananas. Next up, I saw these plums in the warehouse and I knew I wanted to pick it up. I remember growing up having plums all the time and I'm not even sure if my girls like them. So this is purely an experiment. I hope that they taste good and I hope the girls like them, but leave a comment to let me know if you like plums. I remember I loved plums when I was growing up and I still do now. I just haven't had them in such a long time and they look super good. In the new Costco magazine, they have like a whole section on plums and peaches and nectarines and stuff like that. So I think that's what really inspired me to get this and look out for it. If you don't read the magazine, I think you should. It's so fun seeing what's going to be in the warehouse and planning my shops a little bit better. Next up this week, I grabbed some green grapes. This is a favorite of ours and the price is pretty reasonable right now. I also grabbed some red grapes because we love those and you can't have a long weekend without an abundance of fruit. So speaking of which, I grabbed one package of strawberries. We ate through all the strawberries we went picking. So yeah, we're back to buying strawberries again. I think that only lasted us one week or maybe two. Next up, I grabbed three packages of the blackberries. It's long weekend, as I said before, and you know our family loves these blackberries. And they were such a great price, so that's literally the reason why I got three. I think these are $2.99 each for this big package. So I went ahead and grabbed three of those, as I said before. I also picked up some more organic 2% milk. And the kids are going to be home from school. They're going to need lots of snacks, so I'm starting to gear up for that. I grabbed some cheese strings. They love cheese strings. And they finished all the yogurt I got last week, so I got more. You know, I guess they're really in the yogurt mood right now. I also picked up some Better Than Bouillon, the chicken flavor. They raised the price on this, and I literally almost didn't get it, but like I'm completely out and I refuse to not have this in my house, so I got it anyway. But make sure you guys are grabbing this now before the price gets even higher than this because that was just a shock for me. I'm not a fan that they raise the price on that. The vegetable one is still pretty affordable. I think it was like $7.49, but this one, they upped the price and they don't even sell the beef one anymore right now. So keep an eye out for that. Next up, I also grabbed some Coscados. You guys know that is my special name for avocados from Costco. They're the perfect avocados every single time they up the price and I didn't buy it for like two months because I was boycotting the price surge but like life is short and I really love avocados so you know I held out as long as I could but Coscados are back in the mix I hope that they're extra special this time since they're extra expensive but leave a comment to let me know where you've been getting your avocados from if you've been getting good ones what the prices are because like I love my Coscados but $13.99 like wow Wow. Next up, I also got some baby carrots. The girls love this and we love it too, like the adults in the house. So grab some more. These are super good. 
this is what the packaging top looks like and they just love munching on these and they, I call them my little bunnies whenever they eat it because they look like cute little bunnies munching on these raw carrots. I also picked up a bag of Honeycrisp apples. You know, that's a staple for us. Last week, we grabbed some of these Granny Smith apples. And at first, they were pretty good. But then we realized they're actually really hard. Like, they don't seem ripe at all. And, like, I know that's hard to tell with Granny Smith. But it wasn't a good batch. Like, it's still... <laughs> we have not... That's, like, only a portion of it. It's going to take us forever to get through them because they are not good. But uh, I'm hoping that these Honeycrisp are because... That's what we go through all the time. And next up, I grab some peppers. I want to do some, um, what do you call those? Skewers. I want to do skewers and I want to do skewers with peppers and mushrooms and meat or any type of protein really. But I do want to do that and I made sure I grab some peppers because that just makes it super colorful and fun. That's what I plan to do on the grill this weekend for the long weekend. I also picked up a bag of oranges. The more citrus, the better. And of course, I got a bag of grapefruit because this was a good price. Like I said, the more citrus, the better. We love this stuff and I like slicing this up, having it ready for the girls. They can just snack on it all day. And then every now and then I'll just peel two of these open at a time, keep it in a container. And whenever anyone wants some grapefruit, like it's ready. Grapefruit is one of those things that everyone in the house loves, but everyone waits on mom, me, to get this ready. And if I don't get it ready, no one's going to eat it. So I make sure that I usually do two at a time so I don't have to get it ready like every single day. No mom wants to do that, even though we love grapefruit and it is delicious. And I also picked up another one of these I'm Ripe White Nectarines. These have been so good. Just make sure that you're feeling them before you buy it because some of them are like super soft and like almost rotten. These ones are a little bit on the hard side so I have some time to ripen these up and I know that they're going to be sweet no matter what. They're always so, so good. I also picked up some Mini Bella Mushrooms and this is also to go on the skewers. I'm in the mood for steak, mushrooms, and peppers on a skewer. And that's what I want, so that's what I got, and that's what I'm going to make. I'm also going to do one with chicken, and I'm also going to do some with shrimp. So I'm going to do steak, chicken, and shrimp skewers with all kinds of vegetables and, you know, like, whatever. That's just what I'm in the mood for. And again, barbecuing because it's long weekend. So this is all the produce type of stuff that I got. Now I'm going to clear all of this out and then come back with round two of this haul because it's it's a lot. All right, so now I'm gonna show you pretty much like round two-ish. Let's see round two. Next up, I grabbed these arrowroot biscuits. These are perfect to have on hand at home and with the girls being home, I just know this is gonna save the day for me. This is something they can snack on every five minutes as they're asking me for more food because you know, kids home in the summer means they're eating literally every five minutes. So this is just good to have. I know this is gonna be done within one month. I also picked up more multi-grain Cheerios. This is the one that we like to buy and I like to have this on hand always, but especially when the kids are gonna be out of school because if they're up late and I have work stuff that I have to do, this is a super quick and easy breakfast that they can kinda of like almost help themselves with, kinda of, sorta, of, but not really. Next up, I also grabbed some Spedici. You know we love this and this is perfect for long weekends. I told you before I wanted to do some skewers, so I picked up this flank steak. I'm hoping that this is super good. I'm going to portion it out into two separate portions, but when I unroll this and see how thick it is, I'll really decide then if it's four portions or just two. The price was pretty decent. I'm thinking for this much steak. I don't know. Like this is my first time getting this steak at Costco and I figure the quality would be better here than like just at like a no frills or something like that. Next up, I grab some chicken tenders. It's on the French side. Let me go ahead and turn that over. So I got some chicken strips for the girls. We like this one. This is the only chicken tenders that they tend to like. So now that they're going to be home for summer, we can do like chicken strips and fries for lunches. They love that. And it's super easy for me to just toss this in the air fryer a few minutes and it'll just be done. I also picked up some more bread because we have Nutella and we have peanut butter and jelly. So these are quick and easy lunches that the girls can have while they're home from break these first couple weeks. And I also picked up some Tostitos because I love them. I also have salsa in the fridge. So I want to use my salsa and I need more chips. And these chips are super good. We just like the brand Tostitos, but there's other brands at Costco that taste good too. 
I also grabbed more of this Kirkland Signature Body Wash. I like it because it has a pump, so it's easier for the girls to do this, you know, a little bit more independently. And the price is affordable in case they go through too much. I don't have to be like super upset. It wasn't too bad in price. And for the first time ever, I'm trying the Kirkland Signature Body Lotion. It says that it's paraben free, no animal testing, dermatologist tested. It's a twin pack. I think it's supposed to be made with like real plant whatever. And I'm hoping that it smells good. The girls go through a lot of lotion. We have lotion in every single washroom in our house. And I find that having extra lotion just ensures that they always moisturize their skin, which is super important, especially in the summer months with extra sun exposure. So I'm trying this out for the first time. If you're not already joining my private Facebook group, I share reviews, unboxings, and first impressions on there. And I'm definitely going to share a review of this lotion because I've never tried it before. Those are the things that I got here. And down here, I have some sparkling ice. This was on sale, so I went ahead and picked up some more. Long weekend, really bubbly drinks, really good drinks. Staying hydrated with some of our favorites. That's why I got this one. And right under this, I'm going to pull it if I can. So as I was saying, right under the sparkling ice, these are the flavors. They're all absolutely amazing. I also grabbed some Oasis juice boxes for the girls. Let me tell you the order of how they finish it. They always finish the orange first, then the apple grape, and last but not least, they'll finally do the apple. But this is good. They like this juice, and I like it too. I think it's pretty good and tasty. And this is going to keep my girls happy as they're home from school. I'm just trying to slowly build up our summer stash of snacks and treats for the kids. Otherwise, that's like a $400 bill on its own and ain't nobody got time for that right now. So this is where we're at right now. All right, you guys. So just like that, we have officially come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me. I hope you have an amazing long weekend with your family and friends. I'm just going to be a mom this long weekend and I'm so excited for that. So with all that being said, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.